Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today we're looking at something a little bit different, having to do with uh, camp cooking and you know even lunches and such. This is the GSI Spice Missile. You know, I'm sure most of us have seen this on the shelf somewhere. I never really thought about it, and I didn't either because I was afraid that I'd have to come up with some way to label it, or maybe it, you know maybe it was not enough that I needed for whatever. And I was proven wrong when I did pick this one up. Um, because they don't tell you on the package, but it comes with labels. So, and it's weird because I read the whole package and it doesn't say anything on it. So you got pepper, salt, cinnamon, sugar, garlic, oregano, thyme, rosemary, sage, parsley, onion, basil, cocoa, which is a little weird, but I guess paprika, chili, cumin, ginger, and dill. And uh, I think there's a two extra empty ones there that you can write whatever you want on there. So, if I knew it came with labels, I would have probably picked up much sooner than I did. Um, so this is their spice missile for backpacking. Three stages from liftoff, the spice exploration. Um, I carry a different kind of packages of spice uh, when I go camp cooking, or when I go backpacking, or even when I just go to lunch at work. I'll have a small packet of... Um, like Italian, Italian seasoning or something spicy I could add with my tuna fish or chicken salad I have. So here are the dimensions. Capacity is 0.1 fluid ounces. Six. It's actually six compartments. Doesn't look like it, but there's six. I'll show you. Travel dimensions is one and a half inches in diameter by four inches tall. And weighs 2.1 ounces or 60 grams. Alright. So waterproof. Let me take that out of there so you can see this. Waterproof caps and shaker modules screw together to keep spices dry and flavorful. Convenient filler caps, stores and base. Okay. Um, yeah, so it doesn't tell you anywhere on here. See, twin compartment shakers include single sided dispensing screens, which twist into position and remove easily for cleaning. Clever module design is infinitely expandable to carry any number of spices. Well, it'll carry six. So, let's take a look here. Okay, so we're going to take the top cap off. Take a look what's going on here. So we're going to cap. And we got a little uh, cap on top here that's got small holes. Pops right off. And there's your two inner compartments. Now remember, this one's got the small cap. Right. Let's go to the next one. Take that off. Oh, this one's got big cap. Well, that's interesting. Is it still two inside? Yep, still two compartments. That's cool. Go for bigger items. And let's take a look at the bottom. Ooh, even bigger cap, even bigger top anyway. And of course, these can be moved around. So you can switch whoop, back and forth to wherever which compartment needed on, or both if you're trying to get both salt and pepper or whatever you're working on. So that's cool. So we have three different sizes. Hmm. Those are interesting because well, those are the same size, and you can mix and match which way they go in. So. Threads are the same. This one, the base, which is a little flared out, you can see the divider on the center here. A little bit shorter, sort of. Uh, maybe, yeah, a little bit. What happens if you don't need this large top piece, though? Well, what's that on the bottom? If we pop this bottom section off. Oh, interesting. So there's another one with small holes. So we have this one, this one. Put them all in my hand so we can see them all. Make it easy. Two, two, two. All right, so you have two with the same size holes. One with like medium holes and one that's wide open. 
So that's kind of cool that they gave you a little spot in the base. Now, and of course, we know that sits in the bottom, so you always have extra space to put one around there. So if you take the large one off, and say you didn't need this one, you could put it in the base, put the cap on, and there you go. You always have the extra one if you need it. So that's a nice little touch. Let's go flip some of these around here. Medium base one, small, let's put them together. Mm -hmm. There we go. On there. Camera's in my view, so it's, it's hard for me to see what I'm doing. So there you go. You can mix and match. I mean, if you had, say, you had three of these dispensers, unfortunately, you'd only be able to use one of each at the bottom. Um, but you can make a really long one, so you'll have like six of these instead. And what I didn't check, and I probably should have, and just thinking about it now, if I only wanted to bring one with me, yeah, the cap fits it. So, there you go. So if you want to just bring one in your pocket or purse or your backpack, salt and pepper or whatever, um, doing pizza, bagel, the bagel, uh, basil and oregano, or rosemary, something of that nature, you can do that. So that's cool. The only thing that irks me and I don't consider myself OCD, but this did bother me. Those two, for the most part, line up, and they're close enough. I could tighten them a little bit more. The one on the bottom does not. You can, if you crank it, yep, I just dropped the bottom part off. You can really tighten it, and it will line up. So that's good news. Um, however, when you try to take it off, you may have some problems um, because it is slick on the outside. But uh, if you're running like, uh, sorry for the pause there, I sneezed for a moment. So say if you had, uh, you're trying to go ultra light or, you know, you're just going for lunch at work kind of thing, get something like that. Now this is for two people. Wild, uh, wild caught light tuna and sunflower oil. Um, I'm only looking at 340 uh, calories for the entire thing. But sometimes they can be a little bland. So you could add some spice to it. That's actually what I do most of the time. I have um, I have all different flavors, uh, like the herb garlic and all that other stuff, because uh, it lasts for two or three years. This one was a clearance item. This one's only good until September of this year, 2024. Um, so, you know, six more months away, uh, so I'll have that sooner rather than later, but sometimes you just need something to give it a little bit of spice to it, so it's not the same thing every day. Well, there you go. You can bring your own spices with you. Um, you can put liquid in it if you need to do like a little bit of olive oil or sunflower oil or something of that nature. I don't recommend it. Um, one, it being nearly impossible to clean out everything out of the little nooks and crannies. Um, because the opening, you know, it's, uh, it is only 0.1 fluid ounces on the inside. Um, I mean, you'd have to dishwasher it or stick it in something like Bottle Bright to really get it cleaned out. Um, I haven't had any issues with it leaking, but if you were going to use an oil, I would make sure it has the cap on it, not another section. But I suppose that's just me, but you could put a liquid in here if you needed to. Um, I've also tried instant coffee. I put instant coffee in one of them. And I put powdered creamer on the other, so it was like a shot glass size. And it worked. It wasn't perfect, but it worked. So you have lots of options. Uh, you could also use this for arts and crafts. There's little beads for they use for uh, necklaces and bracelets. You could separate them that way. If you want to bring some on a road trip and lose them in the car. Uh, you could put sprinkles in it if you're bringing, you know, you meet one of your grandkids or something, and it's like, oh, well, look at this. And I pull it out of uh, the fanny pack or the backpack and put sprinkles on the ice cream or something. There's a lot of options. Um, I kind of wish they had some that 
I haven't seen it from them, and I'm hoping they'll respond in the video. Um, I want to know if they have any that do not have the divider in it. If they don't have one with a divider in it, or if they make some that are a little bit taller, um, so you can really mix and match sizes and still use their product, um, you can put like your protein powders in it, maybe your vitamins in it. Um, you can still put vitamins in here uh, if they're small enough, maybe an antacid, something of that nature. Um, you have a lot of options. It's not just spices. GSI is an outdoor company, so they're you know they do a lot of stuff with camp cooking, backpacking, things of that nature. But there's all sorts of uses for these kind of containers. So I mean, it's up to you. So that is the GSI Spice Missile. I've been wanting to call it the Spice Rocket because you know that's what it looks like to me, but. Spice missile is fine. Um, again, I wish they had you know ones that are uh, open all the way across or longer. You know, if you got one that was that long, it was just a clear one and put protein in it, or um, maybe meal replacement drink, or an energy drink, or something of that nature, like a five-hour energy in there or something. Just it's one less thing you have to carry then. So you have a lot of options. Again, sprinkles, beads. Oh boy, you can do a lot of little things with this. Um, medicine, like Advil, Motrin, whatever. So you can do a, a lot of things with it. You just have to put your mind to it. And I'm a big fan of things that have multiple uses. And this does have multiple uses, if you think about it. So, thank you for taking a look at the GSI Spice Missile. Um... I will leave a link in the description to GSI's website directly and to a link on Amazon uh, if that helps any of you all. And um, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Now that I'm almost 7,000 subscribers, I'm having a little hard time keeping up on the 24-hour period. I try to respond to everything, so it might take me a little bit longer, but I'm working on it. I will answer every single one that I can. And unfortunately, YouTube does not always tell me when I have a comment in there. So it'll show me like the most recent ones, but sometimes it doesn't show me the comments at all. Um, so that's been a problem. I've been having to go through each and every single video, and I have 250 plus videos. Um, so that's an all day job, and I don't get paid that kind of money to, to um, lose my day job and my night job in order to check on comments. So. Uh, you can also email me at survivor, uh, survival.giver at gmail.com. The link is in the, in the description, and it's also near my banner on my main page as well. So feel free to email me too. I do respond to emails. Um, usually much quicker because I get them a lot quicker than I do with the comments. Um, also, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.